Hi, and welcome to Eric Blackman Guitar. This is a guitar lesson especially for beginners. What I will do is show you some guitar chords that are super easy to play, and then we'll learn how to turn them into more difficult ones. The guitar is tuned standard, E, A, D, G, B, E. Now for playing these chords, I'd like to emphasize the use of the middle and ring finger. Because emphasizing those two fingers will help us to keep track of where our fingers are on the fretboard and which fingers we're using as we play chords. I also want you to press with the very fingertip. Don't use the pad of your finger, flat like that, but the fingertip. Make sure that your fingers are curved, too, into the fretboard and the thumb is down like that, okay? Down behind the fretboard for support. We want that thumb to look like that, okay? Now first, we're going to play an E minor chord. We're going to do that by placing the middle finger on the A string at the second fret. The ring finger will also be on the second fret on the D string. We want to keep those fingers curved, thumb behind the neck, and we're going to take our thumb and just brush the strings very gently. We don't want to press down on the strings when we're playing them. We want to just brush the strings just like that, barely pressing them, so we get a nice soft chord sound. We want to keep those fingers curved so that all our strings sound. Because if we don't curve our fingers, we'll get muting like that, okay? That's our E minor chord. We're going to move those two fingers down to the D and the G string for an A suspended two chord. Now that chord is going to sound better if you put your thumb on the A string and strum from there. And try to see if you can get every string to sound. Next is a D major 9 chord. We're going to place our fingers on the G and the B string and play from the A string. Just like that, gently brushing the strings. Now that we've learned these chords, we want to practice strumming them in a progression. We'll start with an E minor chord, strumming it four times. A suspended two. D major nine. back to A suspended 2. Once you've got that down, it'll sound something like this. Now, we'll go back to the E minor chord, use it as a starting point, and learn some other chords. E minor. We'll take the ring finger down to the G string, leaving the middle finger on the A string at fret 2, 
and we'll play an E7 suspended 4. E7 suspended 4. We'll move the ring finger down again to the B string. Now we have an E minor 13. We'll move the ring finger down to the high E string and we'll have an E minor 9. Now let's play those chords in a progression. E minor. E7 suspended 4. E minor 13. E minor 9. Start again. There's more. We'll go back to our starting point, E minor. We'll take the little finger and add it in the mix to the G string at fret 2. Now we have all three fingers on the fretboard here on the second fret. That is an E suspended 4. So we've got E minor. Add the little finger for E suspended 4. We'll go to A suspended 2 again, playing from the A string. And we'll add the little finger to the B string and we'll have an A chord. That's an A major chord. Okay? So we've got E minor, E suspended 4. A suspended 2 and A major. Now let's use those in a progression. Okay, now we're going to go to our A suspended 2 and we're going to turn it into a different shape. We've got our A suspended 2, right? Leave the middle finger where it is on the D string and take the ring finger and move it up to the A string at fret 3. Okay, now we have C major 7, okay? So A suspended 2 was here. C major 7. And we're going to play a C chord by just taking finger 1 and placing it on the B string at fret 1. We now have a C chord. Now that we have our C chord, we're going to try to take the little finger, put it on the B string at fret 3, and we'll have a C add 9. Now we're strumming that from the A string so we can get that C sound from that ring finger.
We can make a C7 by moving the little finger up one string to the G string. Okay, now we've got C7. So let's start that process again. A suspended to C major 7. Bring in the first finger for a C chord. The little finger on the B string for C add 9. Move that finger up to the G string for C7. Now we'll go back to our starting point, the E minor chord, and learn how to play an E major chord. We've got our E minor, and we're going to take the first finger and place it on the G string at fret 1. Now we have an E major chord. Take that finger out, E minor. Put it back, E major. Now, if you remove the ring finger, we have an E7. Cool blues chord. And we can do that with this chord. Now, I simply slid that chord up one fret at a time to get the sound. Using that technique with this chord enables you to play this. Let's learn one more chord. We're going to go to our A suspended 2 chord. And we'll do the same thing we did with the E chord. We're going to take that first finger and put it on the B string on the first fret. Now we have an A minor. A suspended 2. A minor. E minor, E major, A suspended 2, A minor. Let's use those chords in a progression. 2, 3, 4, E minor, E major, A suspended 2, A minor. Well, my friends, I think that's enough to keep you busy for a while. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.